this I watched a little video on yesterday. Look at him. He's one of the orbweb spiders, but this one is called a kite spider, and it's one of the few that have been identified to sort of species level. Is that not perfect? Look at the neat with neatness with which this web is being constructed. Now watch. See how she crawls along to the corner, then draws it in, wraps the spinneret around, perfectly spacing them. You see that? So what she's doing is she's, now, she's obviously laid some initial threads, some initial round threads. Now she's crawling along that initial thread, and then she pulls the horizontal strand across and lays a new one. And you can see the silk coming out of her little spinnerets. And it's just absolute precision. Completely unlike the golden orb web spider, which makes a very messy nest or web. Oh, you are just the most brilliant creature. How you managed to do that? Oh, she's caught something. Look down here. That's why she stopped. There's a spider there, and not a spider, there's a fly. Thank you, Bobby, for your compliment to Senzor. Saying absolutely magnificent camera work, I would agree, I think. I can't really see the picture, but I'm hoping that it's true. So a fly has landed, and that's why she stopped building. Let's see if she goes down to take the fly. The fly is moving now. See, she won't be able to see it, but she'll be able to feel on the web where it is. But it stopped moving, and so let's see if she picks it up. Now it's moving, it's struggling. And I can see her little front legs giving a little bit of a twang to the web. This is a kite spider, everybody. And we patiently watch to see, does she continue with decorating her home, or does she go to the kitchen and eat the ready-made meal? Her oven's just gone. Bing! But does she finish her current job, or does she let her meal get cold and breathe slightly? The fly either knows that movement is going to result in death, or it's not a particularly vigorous fly. And I suspect the fly, when it woke up this morning and found us, thought to itself, Oh, look at these three fine images of humanity filled with salty sweat. It'll be delicious for me. And now it's, oh, another one. We are providing this fly, at least the spider, with a meal because the flies are attracted by us and they keep flying into her web. Gyroman, you are wondering if she is vaguely aware of the regularity with which she makes her nest. No, I think it's all entirely encoded into DNA. That fly is in big trouble. Oh, here we go. We're going to see a kill, everybody. Live kill. You see how when it stops moving, she stops moving because she finds it very difficult to tell where it is. Now oh, she's got it. Oh, and she's sunk her fangs into it. All right, now, venom is coursing into the abdomen of that fly, and the venom is made up of sophisticated enzymes that are going to liquidize the insides of the fly. And let's see if she wraps it up, or if she just sucks it dry straight away. No? See, look at this, she's bringing it to the front. Mm. So as I say, the venom that she uses is a complex of proteins, um, and very complex proteins, 
called enzymes, some of it. And those enzymes, Anna-Marie, are what she injects into the fly. And that's what will liquidize its insides. That's not what all their venom is made of. I mean, obviously, some spiders will have a, you know, it's normally all proteins, but they are proteins of different kinds. And obviously, some of them are neurotoxins, and some of them are cytotoxins, and I'm not sure about this one. But now she's brought it to the middle of the web, back to the living room, where perhaps she's going to watch them. Perhaps she's got a, a feed of Safari Live going, so she'll eat and watch at the same time. Now, you know, obviously this is a very exciting day for us and for the spider, but for the fly, uh, very unimpressive and... Uh, Justin, you want to know what I think the fly's last words were. Justin, I'm afraid I don't think that I can repeat what the fly's last words were. Um, I don't think that they are for sort of a family show. I think they probably had four, word, four letters to them. And you know the kind of thing that you would expect to, to hear coming out of, uh, well, uh, a very distressed human being's mouth. Now that is the end of the fly. The kite spider is very happy. We are going to continue to see if we can find further tracks or signs of whatever predator was here.